Today I'm going to review and show you how to use an Auric Air Response Air Purifier Model WK16000. It's made for small rooms. It will circulate the air in a small room in roughly 12 minutes. A small room is about 155 square feet. That would be 10 feet by 15 and a half feet, for example. The unit uses a two-stage filtering system comprised of a HEPA media filter, which captures 99% of allergens like dust, pollen, pet dander. Uh, and the there's a carbon filter, which helps to capture odors. For example, my least favorite being cat litter and the smell of burnt bacon on a Saturday morning. So when you get the unit, you'll want to remove a tab here and a tab here that are holding the lid on. There's a tab here protecting the plastic display. You remove that, then you pop off the front cover where you'll find the filters in a plastic bag. You want to remove the plastic bag and recycle it. This is what the filter looks like. This top filter here, which is attached with Velcro, is a carbon filter. There are two of these in the box with the unit. Uh, the carbon filter will last roughly six months based on 12 hours of day per day of use. The HEPA media filter should last roughly 12 months based on 12 hours per day. If you run the unit around the clock, say for example, 24 hours, 24 seven, well, cut those numbers in half. There's a handy tab here for pulling the filter out when you need to replace it. And on the inside cover are instructions as to how to replace the filters that I've, like I've just shown you as well as reset the filter sensor. And then here is an ordering guide for replacing your filters. It gives you the model of the filters, the phone number, or you can go to orc.com as I did to order replacement filters. Unfortunately, when I went there, they were out of stock, but they cost $24.99 plus $5 in shipping. But again, out of stock, good nor. Uh, on the Somewhere I saw on the website that this unit is Energy Star certified, but nowhere on the packaging or the unit does it say it's Energy Star certified. I only know that it runs at 120 volts, 60 hertz, 50 watts. Is that Energy Star certified? I have no idea. Anyway, let's start it up. All right, now that I've got it plugged in, I'll use the power button to turn it on. And it'll start up in auto mode. And auto mode uses the dust sense technology to properly adjust the fan speed, it'll pick up uh, particles down to 0.3 microns, which is small. If I want to run the unit in manual mode, I can use the speed button here to adjust the fan speed between low, medium, and high, which will likely overload the microphone. Yes, so I'll run it in auto mode so you can hear me. If you use the unit in a bedroom, you can use the light button to dim the display, which is kind of cool. But I'm in a workshop, so it doesn't matter. And uh, the timer button allows you to select the runtime between two, four, and eight hours after which the unit will shut off. This light indicator here tells you the particle count in the air. If it's blue, it's low. If it's purple, it's medium. If it's red, then that's a high particle count. After six months, you'll see an indicator light here telling you to change the odor filter and after 12 months, you'll see an indicator light here to replace the HEPA filter. And when you replace the filters, you'll just hold your finger over it to, for a few seconds to reset the uh, filter indicators. And at the same time you replace the filter indicator, or the filters, you want to use a cotton swab to just clean off this little dust sensor here. I've been running this humidifier for a little, or the, I've been running this air purifier for a little while, and you're like, what? And I don't smell as much litter box as usual. Good boy. So I'm definitely breathing easier. Um, seems like a pretty cool unit. If this review's been helpful, do me a favor and like it. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I think these two are in love. This is a favorite dryer. This, <laughs> this is an air purifier. This one's definitely quieter. <laughs> what?